All right, so we just finished up Act 3 of the Verbeeg Jamboree. Guys, welcome to the channel for Part 10 of our Dark Alliance playthrough. Hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough so far. If you're just catching this for the first time, I hope you enjoyed this video. But I would recommend starting from the top, go back to, uh, go back to, you know, Part 1 here, Act 1, and watch the whole thing through so you kind of know how we got to where we are. There are small story elements and all that stuff involved as well but if you're just here to enjoy this one video that's cool too make sure you hit the subscribe button while you're here and hey definitely help me out and hit the like button when you like the well, when you like the videos it puts it in front of more people on on youtube so it can help our channel grow It'd be really cool to have you guys involved in that now um let's get this started shall we we got to go on to it looks like the final area that has any acts. The rest of the game is um, these dungeons here. Yeah, so we're going on to the Order of the One Light and Infernal Dispute. The Order of the One Light, they call themselves. Cultists who worship the crystal shard like a god. We found the Order's fortress, hidden within the spine of the world. They were under siege by the forces of Levistus and had erected a magical barrier to keep the devils at bay. We would have to recover the keystones to bring down that barrier before we could enter the fortress and deal with the mages within. All right, so we've not seen these cultists in a while. Uh, we saw them earlier on in the game. Um, I think the last we saw of them was when they took Kessel away after he was killed by some of the Durgar. And he's dropped off that ledge. So, um, let's get started, shall we? Curious what's going to happen here. We've not seen him in a while. No, no. And now he's in the hands of cultists. And the, actually, I think the only time we've actually fought the cultists in general was when there was uh, a couple of the ones that have the, like, dual daggers. That's a cool shot. Uh, they have the dual daggers. They don't have a whole lot of health, but they do hit pretty hard, so... I'd imagine we'll see a couple more types at least here. only one master of the shard. Hey! <laughs> All right. So the cultists brought Kessel back to life. A bunch of cultist necromancers brought him back to life. All for him to just kill them. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. All right, so our main objective here is to reach the gateway to the Wounded Mountain. And then optionally, we have Destroy Cultist Urns. There's 14 of them. And then Defeat the First Pick Crew. Something tells me we're not going to get all the urns. I, I kick constantly. Hold on. How many years have they lived in these mountains? Oh. Secretly causing trouble for all of the Dale's people while seeking their crystal god. Time to root them out and shatter their dreams. Oh, uh, here's ice. I guess that makes sense why there was warmth up there. Um, uh, we constantly end up getting very close to majority of these optional objectives of these collectibles. <laughs> like 13 out of 14, for example. I'm expecting that to happen here. I'm assuming this is what the urns look like. There's our first one. Pick up that tome back there. 
Shard already abandoned. Their minds are clouded by crystal remnant. They see him as a prophet. Uh huh. Uh, hey, yeah. These guys have really cool hammers. And they're crazy. Holy. Ow. Oh, uh, here's the cultists. Earlier in the game, I thought these guys were, um, mind flayers. Just because like their uh the top of their heads are longer and i thought like maybe the masks were co covering up their mouths so i couldn't really tell it looks like they're not now, here's another one of these cultist urns that one was red this uh that one was red the first one we found was green so it looks like there's a couple different colors so far oh that just one shot him okay All right, let's uh, make sure we didn't miss anything here. Let's not run into that. Okay. I think we're clear here. We can move on. Lots of ice all over the place here. This is a rather small spot to have to fight these guys. Let me check out over here first. Oh, oh, I was going to miss that. Oh, hey, here's another urn. That makes three out of 14. Okay, a green pelt. All right, what I think I'm going to do here is try to jump on this first one, take him out as quickly as possible, and then jump back out. Okay, we're just going to jump out in general. Uh, yikes. That's a really small spot to have to fight these guys. <laughs> all right that worked out look how cool their hammers are or their clubs i would love to have that thing is cool of course this whole area is pretty cool too this reminds me a lot of an area in dark souls 3 uh irithyll of the boreal valley i'm actually i've been playing through dark souls 3 as well on my streams and it looks a lot like that area that's pretty cool Okay, that's where we gotta go. So let's check out over here. More foes for the full hammer. Okay. What do we got? These guys are glowing. Okay, give me a minute. I'll be back for you. Here's another urn. Another chest as well. Common warhammer. Lame. So you have four out of 14. I feel like we're making a pretty good pace. All right. I'm going to do the same thing as last time. Just try to jump down, kill one, jump out. Oh, what the? Oh, my God. Can we not? <laughs> I think those guys are kamikaze types. Okay. Okay. I got set on fire as well. That kind of... I was not ready for that. Okay. It looks like they don't have a lot of health, though. I just have to play it carefully. I mean, there was just four of them there, and I kind of got low health from it. I do have a... It looks like they do some necrotic and some fire damage, so... I do have my nec necrotic resistance gear on. That definitely helps. Okay, a bunch more enemies up there. 
Speaking of necrotic, where does this lead? Can I hit that from here? Yes, I can. Oh, let's not fall. Oops. Looks like no urn over here, but we got a tome, some crystals, some money, and a chest. Common necklace. All right. Oh, if you guys didn't already know, uh, when you collect the, the tomes, the uh, tablets, the paintings, the reliefs, all that, when you're at the base camp, you can uh, go to your journal, and as you collect those, it will add more entries into your uh, into your journal, so there's more lore for you. It's pretty cool. It adds a lot of uh, a lot of value to the whole world, as uh, specifically the characters that you can play as, the enemy types, the the, the ice wind Dale. That is a straight up mage. Get out of that. Oh, okay, sir. Oh my God, he's got lasers and shit. And a lot of health. Why is the mage the tankiest one of them? Those guys aren't bad. There's another urn right there. All right, we got a whole bunch more. Oh, these are the, the kamikaze types. Yeah, they don't have a lot of health, but their damage can add up. Oh, okay. Yep. It was <laughs> what's well, top it all off, too. When they hit you, it kind of makes it so you can't move for a moment. Let's just kill that one from a distance. Until the keystones are recovered and okay, nice. That magic Let's take the keystone here. Here's another urn. And that's five out of 14. I think we're going to go ahead and rest here, guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. I just want to make sure everything stays on the up and up as I don't know what's going to be uh, ahead of us here. If they're throwing this many of the kamikaze types at us, it, it might get to a point where they overwhelm us. So we're going to need healing. I see a warming blade over there. Nothing here. Oh, I see an attribute point up there. I'm assuming this platform is what we can jump on from over there. What are you? Is that no? I don't know what that is. Defeat the Stygians within the Blackburn Caves. Okay. I wonder if we'll take damage from the ice. <laughs> the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Look at this. Look how much damage he's taking. <laughs> okay, that was... That was easy. <laughs> okay. Well, that went well, guys. That went pretty well. Can we get up here? Negative. All right. So what we need to do then is grab this keystone. We can go over here. Can we go up here? 
Ah, uh, yes, we can. Holy crap, there's a lot of ice here. Whole bunch of stuff in there. All right, there's the attribute point. How do we raise this? All right, we got to find a lever, which I'm assuming we get from defeating these guys in here. I wonder if this is the first pick crew. I would bet. Varnk Iron Mind. Whoa, sir. Oh, here's a bunch of the kamikaze types. Can we not? <laughs> Just gotta like hit him and then instantly back off. Is he summoning things? All right, so it looks like the mage ones might be able to actually summon the rogue ones, but as shadows. There's our lever. Here's another one of these shadows. All right. That was the first pick crew. Very nice. We have some of this. We got these. I probably should have healed up before opening those, but it's whatever. Oh, another urn too. Sick. All right. Six out of 14. We're making good progress on this. We did get the uh, lever as well. Lever handle. Make sure there's nothing else to jump onto. Doesn't look like it. There's money over there. All right. Good stuff. I like it. I love they play the little tune there when you pick that up. All right. I'm not too concerned about that bag of money. It's not going to be a whole lot. We're just going to go. Saw some more gold in the left in the ice. The scouts, is okay, there's three of them here. I missed! Holy. Wow. My damage is good. You see this. 306 gold. Some stamina potions. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Looks a lot like Irithyll of the Boreal Valley in Dark Souls. See this ladder? Let's take a peek. Urns? Is there urns? I see no urns. Oh, there's a whole bunch of things up here. Let's just make sure there's nothing hidden in here. With my luck, there'd be like buried urns under these rocks. This rubble, rather. I'm seeing two Rizel the Ravenous. Rizel the Raveni? Rizel the Raveni. Nice. Oh, I'm seeing a bunch of these silencing crystals as well. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh, what the heck? So the named... The named sub boss here is Kamikaze type. I I I don't know. What? Yeah. 
What is this guy on about? <laughs> Nothing now, I guess, huh? I just don't want to get permanently silenced. The last time I encountered these things, I got permanently silenced for the rest of the stage. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, a named boss? I mean, he's dropping me loot, so that's cool, I guess. But a named boss doing that? I see an urn over there, too. Right there. All right, did we get all of these? I think we got all of them. Okay. All right, dude. My hammer strong. What? What are you doing? Nice. Let's single this guy out. Oh, this is where we got to insert the keys, I guess. Ah, sir. He can cut you while you're down. Oh, get parried. You guys are kind of annoying. Oh, um... Let's hit this urn. That's 7 out of 14. Uh, We could lure him on that ice. Hold on. More of this. Damn it. Be gone. No silence. Ah, uh, you know what? Well, I don't think we even need to. Let's just fight him. Get out of there. He resists the freeze. We don't have much of a window to hit him there. You know, his damage is a lot lower than I was expecting. Really not bad. That's really not bad at all. That's all of the keystones. Now, breach that barrier. Uh yeah, we'll rest. Down to one potion, I'd probably use it here. I see. Is that two urns over there? Yeah, that's two urns over there in that corner. I see you. I see you. Alright, so that makes it nine out of fourteen. Nice. can't get in there one thing i will say when it comes to uh, a dnd game I i'm glad that they reward exploration within these levels but i would love like full-on dnd type exploration where you can like find a way to open that and go inside you know what i mean <laughs> i would love that so much i know i'm asking a lot when this is more of a an action like hack and slash type game more than it is an rpg but man, I would really enjoy that. All right, some gold. I see nothing else over here. Also, I think I saw a chest up here. I did. I did. All right, can't go over there. All right, so we got this chest. We got some money. We got this little tome guy. Very small tome. Is that everything? I guess so. Invisible wall right there. Oh, there's another one of these. I don't know how I keep overlooking these. I think we've got everything in the area. This is where we came from. So let's enter all these. Insert. Oh, now we got to go over there. Nice. Enemies on the bridge. Our 
tribe's mark was washed away long ago. Uh, this is too easy. It was free. I, it, it was free. You see those moments, you have to take them. Hopefully I don't regret using that ability there. Oh, hey. A tablet. We take that. Make sure we're not missing anything. I don't think we can go down there without dying. I mean, science? We're doing it for science? Okay, yeah. We Wait. What the? Okay, yeah, there it is. So we did it for science and we can't do that. Here's another urn. That's 10 out of 14. I think we're on good pace. We Are we going to get all of these? All right. Look at these guys. There's just four. Looks like just the four of them. Let's do it. Nah. Oh, crushed him. Oh, more guys are spawning. Are these the kamikaze types? They are. Okay, back it up. Back it up. Woo. Wow, a whole bunch of them spawned. Look at this. That's not what I wanted out of life. Look how much of a leash there is on these guys. They won't even come down the stairs. Honestly, I think this is a bit of a downfall. Like this is they won't even come don't come over here despite them being right here they won't do it oh this guy's got balls huh but you look at this this is this is wild it's exploitable <laughs> and that's it it's still showing this guy's health bar uh we have no need to rest so we'll increase our loot rarity i see an urn right there all right we can't get up there looks like there's an archway up there let's hit it just just in case we don't have find the way to get down there we'll at least have that that archway up there is pretty big. I don't imagine we'll miss it, but just want to be sure. 11 out of 14. Killed that guy so hard. He died to death and left his red health bar behind. Killed him so hard, he died to death. We're not missing anything, right? This is where we came from. Got all that. We can't get up there from this side. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Constantly second guessing myself here. Another urn. 12 out of 14. Nice. When will we assault ten Oh, I see one right there. That makes 13. We might actually get these. They bring forth a champion. Why are you so mad? Look at that damage. It's crazy how much of a leash these guys are on. Again, like these guys will not come down like this point on the stairs. <laughs> That's so crazy to me.
It wants me to go up there. Let's go over that way. Here's our 13th urn. Why did keep putting themselves in our way? Guys. There's a man in the wall. It's okay, we saved his life. For the Elk Tribe. Alright, let's go this way. What do we got? Oh, I think this is the archway. This is the archway right here. Yes, it is. Alright, so here was uh, one of the urns right there. This is how you get up to it. Oh, we're getting the chest as well. Uncommon necklace. Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, here's our 14th urn. We got them all. Look at this. Corrupted mages. And mages everywhere. Oh, that's one down. Oh, he dropped boots for me. What a nice guy. Oh, two for one. He is frozen. Nice. Wow, we made it so those mages couldn't do anything. Oh, here, here's a lever handle. I'm assuming we take it over here. Do I see all these spikes? Yeah, I see it. Very nice. Can't get up there. I will say, this game is really making me want to play Baldur's Gate 3. I'm really excited for when that game comes out. I've not played, uh, I know it's uh, available in early access, like, the, the beginning portions of the game, but I'm avoiding playing it, because I know I'm a, I'm a big D&D fan in general. I've already played the, everything Baldur's Gate that there is already many times over, you know, growing up. So I'm kind of hoping that, uh, the next game really fits the bill you know what i mean i really hope that it does very well but i don't want to just play a little bit of it i want to play all of it <laughs> so i'm waiting for a full release on that we'll likely release some videos on it when it comes out looking forward to it we have all the urns so we don't have to worry about urns anymore we can just kind of carry on we're climbing the tower Look at that absolute unit. Alright, um, let's do this. Oh my god. I am dying. Excuse you. Alright, come over here, guys. Everyone. Everyone just. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you need a break from the fight, I guess just come chill over here. Even though this is blocked off, they're leashed. They can't cross this threshold without de-aggroing. That is nuts. So if you need a break from the battle, just fall back here. Look at this. You know, I understand that you want enemies to uh, be within a specific area because it makes it so that they're within that area and they're defending that area, helping the boss, whatever. I totally understand the idea. I respect it. But I think this type of a leash is actually something that can take away from the difficulty of a game. Not that this is on a hard difficulty right now itself, but in general, it can take away more than it offers in a good way. That man is shoveling the snow. Okay. All right, let's do this. Just go away. 
Thank you. Well, I learned my lesson there. Oh! All right, spin to win. We are owning this guy. I just did what? 70% of his health in that attack? Easy. All right, we can take the hit. That's fine. Get up, buddy. Get up. Oh, absolutely clobbered. Absolutely clobbered him. Scorn Soul Reaver defeated. Not bad. I know I'm only playing on the second difficulty, so I, I do believe my gear is above and beyond. So I definitely understand that side of it. But the whole leashing thing just makes it specifically, it's very noticeable in this level. It's something that you've seen here and there in other levels. I'm sure I could find more if I wanted to really look for it, but it's very noticeable in this level because that's how I would naturally play. Like I would try to funnel enemies into an area where I could hit them with my AOE attacks. You want to maximize your damage across as many enemies as possible with as few attacks as possible so that way you can get rid of them as fast as possible so you can, you know, move on, get their loot, get their experience, lessen your chances of losing. But the, the leashes on this level specifically seem very strong. Let's go back to the Cairn. I would honestly say uh, that that Kind of makes the gameplay feel weak. I don't know. I don't want to bash on it too hard. I'm not the type to just down on things, but that is a very glaring flaw in the in the gameplay itself. Because, I mean, that's the, the, the combat is the shining point of the gameplay. It's what this game is based around is the combat. So when you have something like that, I, I would bet that in almost every area of the game, unless it's in some sort of pit, Kind of like the uh, the three warrior enemies that we saw in that little uh, that ledge area. I'm sure they have full you know rain within that area there. So outside of areas like that, you can leash pretty much anything. That's weird. That's really weird to me. Anyway, enough about that. Let's look at our loot. We got mittens. Nice. Tundra Trapper Pelts, Lightning Resistance Bracers, that's got a nice max hit point bonus, Lightning Resistance Chest Guard, oh we got a Lightning Set dude, I've already got the pants, now we got the gloves, we got the armor, nice, that's got a lot of resistance on it, we're going tank, okay Leg Guards, Tempest Champion Ring, Necrotic resistance bracers, cold resistance necklace, ragged chief leg guards, captive of the abyss necklace. Oh, conditions, re condition resistance. Apprentice pelts, captive of the abyss pelts, necrotic resistance necklace, tundra trap warhammer. Hmm. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of bonuses. I think I'm at the point in the game where I have to up the difficulty if I want to get better gear. It just is what it is. I guess we could try in the next one. Maybe we'll give it a go. See, we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, that wraps up part 10 of our Dark Alliance playthrough. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it. And if you didn't like the video, I mean, if you want to dislike, that's up to you. I'd rather you like it, but, you know, either way, I'd rather you be honest. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos for this, for this playthrough in general. Hope you're liking what I have to offer on the channel so far. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications. Don't miss a single thing that we upload. I upload all of my streams that I do live, as well as I upload exclusive YouTube content here on the Josh feed. That said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take a look at that statue. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next one.